Today's video is all about how to use AI to write an article. A couple caveats before we dive in. I'm gonna use ChatGPT, not any other AI writing tool because uh, I love free and hopefully you do too. I'm gonna make an article that sounds good. It sounds like a human wrote it. There's no plagiarism. There's nothing made up. I'm gonna show you tips and tricks for how you can do the same with your article. Finally, this isn't an, an AI only endeavor. I also used Market Muse for SEO. I used Canva to design images within the article and I used Midjourney AI to find a good header image. My name is Zuli Rain. I create content that is all about how to grow your blogging empire. I am a six figure freelancer, very proud cat mom, and I love to write. Let's jump in. Okay, for step one, start with a topic. Chat GPT cannot write articles about anything. Um, it needs to be ideally something evergreen. This is because Chat GPT has a learning cutoff date of September, 2021. That was almost two years ago. There's a lot that's happened that it knows next to nothing about. Your best bet is to pick something that hasn't changed and probably won't change in a while. I also recommend doing something that's like a listicle. Chat GPT loves listicles. It's so easy to pump them out. And ideally something that isn't opinionated, something that, um, cause ChatGPT is a large language model. It doesn't, it's not good at formulating opinions. It is good at telling you a bunch of what other people have said or thought online. That's why we're going for a listicle. That's why we're going for evergreen. And that's why we're going for something unopinionated. My topic, the best fonts to use in word. Perfect, evergreen, not opinionated. And finally, a listicle the three dream features for any AI written article. Okay, so let's open ChatGPT and let's start asking it a couple of questions about our chosen topic. So for example, I might ask, um, okay, well, why is somebody gonna be searching for this ChatGPT? Why is somebody searching for the best fonts to use in Word? I might also ask, I want to write an article about the best fonts to use in Word. What are some key considerations to keep in mind when writing this article? Or what are some key reasons um, why a particular font might be good? So questions like that will allow me to start compiling the information I need to get ChatGPT to generate an outline. Once I've done that, I will then go to ChatGPT again and say, hey, using the information that you provided me above, can you generate an outline for this article? You might have to tweak your prompt a little bit. Sometimes it just won't do exactly what you want, but ChatGPT is so good at course correcting. Just say, hey, that was great. I don't want like, um, for example, I don't want you to give me two options per, for each, each um, subheader. I only want one option and it will quickly and easily do that. Once you've got an outline that you're happy with, you can go straight back into a Word doc or a Google doc and paste your outline. Now, this is where you can start going back to ChatGPT and asking it to fill in a little bit of information. So for example, I like um, I liked using it for to come up with historical context. So I said, okay, well, who designed this typeface and why and when? And it will generate a little blurb, copy paste that into your article. I also really recommend adding a little bit of personality. Uh, what do you think about this font? Why would you recommend it? When have you used it in the past? This will give you something that's quickly generated, but still has that like that you touch. Why are you writing this article and not anybody else who can use ChatGPT to generate something quickly and easily? I also recommend going to Google and typing in your keyword and scrolling all the way to the bottom to see what people also search for. Copy paste that, give it to ChatGPT and see See what it comes up with to answer those frequently asked questions. So at this point you have a pretty good article, but there's a couple things wrong with it. What? You don't know what they are, but you're about to use ChatGPT to find out. So go to your article and go to a new chat in ChatGPT and paste your article. At the top of that say, hey ChatGPT, there's false information here. What is it? Paste that and see what it comes up with. This is a trick I learned that is so good for catching those hallucinations. ChatGPT can correct itself. So it'll say, oh, I did make that up. Um, Martin Sheen didn't invent that type font in 2045. That was actually Matthew Sorensen who did it in 2009. It's really good for that kind of thing. You also wanna catch a couple of things that ChatGPT is known for. You can say like, hey, this is still a little jargony. What are some problem areas that you would identify to fix? 
It will give you suggestions. I recommend taking those with a pinch of salt. Um, sometimes the jargon corrections are still a little jargony. So go through, maybe add your own voice. I also super recommend saying, the tone here is a little robotic. What are some really like stilted or fluffy areas? Cause again, ChatGPT is robotic. It adds way too much fluff. And this is a really good way to catch those and fix them yourself. Finally, you want to say, and this is what ChatGPT is probably best at. Again, you say, hey, there's some key information left out of this article. What would you include in order to give the reader the best reading experience? It'll paste a bunch of stuff you probably never even thought of including. This is going to be good for a number of different reasons. It's going to be good for SEO because it's going to catch some of that like readers often ask or people also search for. It's also going to be really good for your reader because it is so, ChatGPT is so good at comprehensively analyzing all the information on the internet about this particular topic, comparing it to your blog post and saying, hey, uh, this author didn't mention that accessibility is super important when it comes to thinking about fonts, for example. By the end, you're gonna have a gorgeous, opinionated, well-written, not too jargony, not too fluffy, not too robotic article, wasn't plagiarized, it's gonna be SEO optimized, and ideally you'll have done this in a little less than an hour. That's incredible and it's so powerful. I don't leave it at this. Um, this doesn't take very long to produce. I think it's really good to start adding in human touches. So for example, when I made this article, I went to Canva and I generated, I, I made, I hand made an image for each of the options because ChatGPT can't do that. I can do that and it adds a ton of value to the reader. I also added alt text to all my images. Again, thinking about the reader, accessibility is so important. ChatGPT can't do that easily. You can, it makes your article a step above the rest. I do recommend using ChatGPT to create a table. So whether you're gonna take a screenshot of the table and paste it into your content management system or what I do, I use Squarespace. Squarespace allows for HTML code. I say, hey, ChatGPT, please summarize all the information in the article I just pasted and make it into an H HTML table. You can even go for specifications like, oh, I want the cells to be outlined in this particular cream color. I want you to bold the column headers. I want you to add an example of each font in, in one of the columns. It can do all that and more. So now you have a human written AI assisted article that it took you hopefully less than an hour, maybe an hour and a half to produce. It's gonna be reader friendly, it's gonna be SEO friendly, and it's gonna be blog friendly. You can proudly post this on your blog and not feel like anybody's gonna think that it's low quality content or anything like that. Hopefully this quick guide really helped you create an awesome AI written article in less time than it would have taken you normally. It doesn't cost any money to do this. It's totally free. You can use the free chat GPT uh, version online. It doesn't cost a penny and you can start scaling up your content for free. A quick note on using AI in writing. I think there's a right way to do it and I think there's a wrong way to do it. I think just saying to chat GPT, hey, can you write an article about the best fonts to use in Word is the wrong way to do it. A, 10,000 people are doing that right now as I make this video. You have to do something that's gonna differentiate your article. You have to do something that's gonna take it a step above the rest. I think using ChatGPT to generate entire articles, it's lazy and most importantly, it's not effective. Maybe now Google is gonna allow it. Maybe now it's gonna be okay. But as people start searching for it and they start reading this absolute word salad, um, Google is going to be incentivized to not rank articles that are bad. That's why I recommend using ChatGPT the good way. Use it to enable faster writing. Use it to enable better writing. Use it to find your blind spots and add things that you wouldn't think to add normally. Use it to add features that you wouldn't normally know how to do, like the HTML table. I am blown away by that still. Um, and always, always, always augment it yourself with things that a robot could not do. So add your own opinion, add your own experiences, add your own voice, add images that you design if you're capable. I love using Canva for this because I'm not a designer, but Canva lets me pretend. And finally, I really recommend that you have fun. If at any point you're not having fun writing this article, you've taken a wrong turn, you're not doing this for the right reasons, you should be enjoying yourself. You're a blogger like me, you enjoy creating content. You wanna make something that's gonna be great for the end user. User. Okay, that is my little rant on AI and writing and also my complete guide on how to use AI to write an article. 
Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments. I read and try to reply to every, every single one. And yeah, let me know what your experience has been reading and writing AI articles. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.